thousands of dollars by someone claiming to be disabled. Jeremiah Jacobson has a warning you need to hear. Frank Jensen's Moe's Southwest Grill franchise just opened in August in Port Charlotte. Catering has quickly become a big part of the business. 99% of the catering orders I take are over the phone. I never see the person. In September, he received a phone order sent through a relay operator used by people who can't speak. He said that he was getting ready to go in for surgery. He wanted to go ahead and take care of the party planning now. A 200-person birthday party order at a cost of $3,000. But as Jensen worked to arrange payment later, the order unraveled. He asked me to uh, wire an additional $1,000 to a party planner that he had hired because he was unable to do it himself because of his handicap. Jensen was given addresses in two different states for the supposed party planner and soon found the credit card number for the supposed customer wasn't legit. And this guy was looking to scam me. And he almost had me. After the relay call, the customer only communicated by email and instant message. No address, no phone number. Jensen stopped the order before the restaurant lost anything and now wants to warn other small businesses who could be targeted too. And I would love to be able to put a stop to people like this in general. That would have hurt me big time. In Port Charlotte, Jeremiah Jacobson, Wink News Now. Tonight at 11, a classroom crisis unfolding in Southwest Florida. 